Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Coming from the snow, coming down here in March, you better be prepared like it's a summer style hunt. Whoa. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Gonna be late, Ralph. Hey, welcome to this week's The Choice. I was going to say that. I know. Sorry. This week, we're going to head down to Florida. Head uh, south. Outfitters. Head south. I always yes. try to tell them the direction so people know yeah, well, where we're going from where, where, where we're at. Because when you start where you're at, and then you tell them where you're what going, they know, you know, where they know where we're going. What if and they don't know where we're at? The direction. But how do they know yeah. where we're at? We're heading south. Down to Florida. Yeah, Osceola Outfitters. We're going to go do some turkey hunting. You know, i got to tell you something. Florida is, people don't realize how game rich Oh my gosh, it is like a target rich environment Ooh, down there. And you can hunt down there hops. all year long. Now you can't hunt deer and turkey all year long, but I mean, depending on where you're hunting, you got hogs and gators, depending on yeah, the everything. season. I mean, everything. And we always love going down by hops. Yep. So we've got you, RJ, and I heading down to Florida and doing some turkey hunting. Yeah, you actually deserted me. You had to drive down, I flew down. Yeah. How does that rate? Oh. You got it. I'll see you in four days. Is it is it four days? Five days. Five days. Don't leave RJ and I at the airport Saturday night, please. I know. If you do, the Easter Bunny won't come. Just saying. Oh, that just wrecked my day. <laughs> now, Ralph and I, we've been so blessed, and we have a beautiful son. His name's RJ, as you know. He's 15 years old now, and sometimes when we're trying to make travel plans, School gets in the way, go figure. It's not a bad thing, he's in driver's ed now. So the way we had to work out this trip coming down to Florida is Ralph left about four days earlier before RJ and I can come down because he needed to take his driver's ed class, which is a great thing. You know what, time flies way too fast when you have a child. it was real see I saw it on TV Bugs Bunny was flying it you just don't listen well we're almost here we're about five minutes out of Hoppies and uh, I know they're gonna make fun of me because I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt because uh, yeah I've had no Sun no Sun for all winter we've already seen hogs we've already seen turkeys uh, and the reason being, it's a full moon. These, you know, especially the hogs, they're moving middle of the day. Yep, it's good to be back down in Florida. to realize you know for a lot of people who are chasing that the, the slam of turkeys there's only one place to get the Osceola and it's down here in Florida and it's not a giant region you know what I mean so the, the what's unique is you come down here and you're hunting them in a scenario that you really probably will never face anywhere else Osceola Outfitters is Florida's premier hunting destination for wild hog, alligator, Florida whitetail, and Osceola turkey, and has preserved the natural beauty of Florida's untamed wildlife. Prized for their exceptional game populations and trophy management programs, Osceola Outfitters is a one-stop shop for experiencing Florida's great outdoors. To come down here with Hoppy, the Kempfers, and Jimmy, and Mike, and, and everybody, th there's nothing better. Oh, there's Don. The crazy thing is, is this is this is what it is. When you get into that mode, and you, you, you have people that you just, you love to be around, you laugh, you cry, you do it all, and you share it all together. Yeah, this is why we come down to Hoppy. There's my northern buddy. Whitey's here. Whitey's here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, same here. I love taking Ralph and Vicky out. I enjoy it so much when they come down. We have a good time. We laugh. We, we 
cut the fool. It's just a, it's a really good time. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Ralph, you need to get in here now and start getting some of this stuff out and let's get it in the camp. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, your mama ain't here, so. <laughs> oh, wow. Now I can carry something under 30 pounds, but it looks like everything's over 30. Oh, I can handle that. <laughs> Got a load. Well, we got Vicky's stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. We got. Yeah. It's all Vicky's stuff. Yeah, it's all Vicky's. What we're going to try to do is get, uh, if the weather allows us, we're going to get uh, Ralph out, see if we can get him a turkey before he, Vicky even shows up. RJ's coming along, so uh, you got. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun regardless. We ran out of our Caldwell targets, but really I think Hoppy took them on me, but I ain't gonna say nothing at all. And uh, we're just checking out the guns again, and sure enough, the A5s are ready to kill some gobblers in the face. Killed him. Having arrived at Osceola Outfitters a few days before Vicky and RJ, Ralph heads out to get a head start. This morning, we are dealing with a full moon, so we actually had to get out a little bit earlier. We're about 250, 300 yards from these birds. They're roosted, I mean, and, and we're watching them. So now it's just a matter of hoping and praying when he comes down and those hens decide to come down, that they come this way. Most people, when they come to Florida to shoot an Osceola, what I hear most is not how big their beards are or anything like that, it's spurs. The Osceola is known to have longer spurs. You know, at younger age, birds have longer, sharper spurs. Uh, I see most of the hunters, that's what they're looking for. So it's always a plus. We get a three, four, maybe five-year-old Tom. We get some nice, big, long spurs on them. We waited for about another 45 minutes or so, and you know, when you know it's up, it's up. But sometimes it's hard, it's really hard to walk away when you know that there's a gobbler somewhere in the area. But when you listen to Hoppy and you listen to Jimmy and the guys here, because they know where those birds are going, they're knowing what they're gonna do. When they say, you know what, time to go back to the lodge, you listen. Well, we were in the right place at the right time, but they didn't cooperate. Hoppy figured they'd roost up there, and they roosted right up in those cypress head right there, flew down, and they went that way, and then they were strutting on the road. But hey, first morning out here with Osceola, Uncle Hop. And You know, typical day here, and, and you know, we're, we're always doing all kinds of stuff at camp, whether it's sighting in different rifles, shotguns, you know, shooting our bows. We knew we had to get our boat ready for bow fishing, so, so we did a whole lot of things in the middle of the day, and all of a sudden, we're like, okay, it's time. We gotta get back out. We're running a little late, but what we're doing is we're setting up here. A lot of these birds are gonna be coming out and down this lane and on this side of this hedge and they're going to roost up in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a cameraman probably there, Hoppy, Chad and I will sit up here. We're gonna put the decoy out here and try to draw all that tension through this gap. Again, this is, it's a natural funnel for them and it's knowing where your birds are, where they're roosting and everything. That's what Hoppy and the guys know here. We got to a point where Hoppy knew the birds are gonna come into roost. So as we got in there, we were, you know, making up our blinds, doing all that. We aren't even set up. Chad goes, birds. Turkey. Huh? Straight out. Turkey straight out. And we look up, and sure enough, you see these two redheads. I, wait, I, let me take this back. Nobody was ready would be a lie. Chad and Kenneth, <laughs> our camera guys, are ready. <laughs> Hoppy and I ain't no way. No face mask on, no gloves on. Ralph doesn't even have the gun loaded yet. Uh, five seconds, I'm telling you, five seconds and there's birds in the field. 
they're looking at our decoy. I give the decoy a little move and I see the, see the turkeys turn and they're coming right at us. I think we're gonna have action, I really do. Having arrived several days before Vicky and RJ, Ralph is embracing his time before the competition arrives. Turkey, huh? straight out. Turkey straight out. Jesus Christ. I have no gloves on, I have no face mask. I don't even have shells in the A5. And these birds know something's up. And these birds, the birds are just going back and forth. They're not gobbling, they're not doing anything. So I'm trying to hold that little bead on there and I'm, you know, we're waiting until they get separate. And when all of a sudden, yeah, I took it. <laughs> Brownie let some feathers fly. <laughs> What do you say? Here we are again, down at Hops, and again, way to break spe spring fever is put another Osceola on the ground, and we did, and this was a little bit different, huh? I mean, it was like, wow, just. Well, we hadn't been there, but. Seconds. Seconds, I hadn't even You had just down. pulled away, you parked the vehicle, you came back. Clipped a few branches out of your yep. way, you hadn't even loaded your gun yet. No. I'm sitting, I mean, I just sat down and, and what, Chad or somebody says birds, and I looked down and two of them at the there far end of this little field. And then they uh, kept moving that decoy and they just slowly came. Yeah, they didn't, came, no, they didn't even gobble or anything. Nope. I mean, I mean, when you're looking for, you're looking for that excitement for them, oh, you know, they didn't well, do any of it. Afternoon too. Yeah, it's yeah. Cloudy, so. cloudy going to rain. And we knew it was going to rain. The weathermen or everyone's telling it's going to, but we said, you know what? We yeah. got to get out. Well, I'll tell you what, another wonderful hunt. And we, nice. I, I broke in my new Browning A5. I'm telling you right now, open sights with a true glow fiber optic and I like it. You've seen us for about 12, 13 years heading down here to Osceola Outfitters with Uncle Hop. And believe it or not, this is why. When we come down here and we're hunting with Hoppy, for one thing, it's just like family. He just, he's like, the brother that I didn't have. We just, you come down here, you never feel pressure. You always just have fun. Sunshine! How's it going? Coffee, I think that's a How's it going? First afternoon out here at Osceola Outfitters, it's RJ's turn to bat. Hoppy, RJ, Dad, and the rest of the crew all headed out to get RJ turkey hunt. Right, we're here. We're gonna change up a little bit this afternoon. We're gonna try to get set up with a decoy right out here and RJ and I are gonna lay right by the decoy or close to it with our ghillie suits on. We're gonna put a camera in the bushes here, a camera in the bushes there, and a camera in the bushes over there and see if we can draw in a turkey and get one at point blank. Luck. I feel like I'm hugging Chewbacca. RJ, he's such a unique kid. I mean, he loves guns and knives and crazy things like that, which is good for a boy to do. Well. They're doing ghillie suits for turkeys. They're gonna lay out, they are laying out for three hours on the ground, on their bellies. The guys are sending me photos of them laid out next to a branch. I thought there's no way this is gonna happen. We're set up, we're laying out here in the field. The sun is baking us. We've been laying here two to two and a half hours we have not seen a turkey. I, I, I'm, I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe that a turkey has not come into this field after the rain. I know the sun come out and it's hot. I know a turkey has got to come into this field sometime. We're gonna stick it out and see what happens. I, I, I just can't believe that we're here still. Well, Ralph's got his turkey and RJ and Vicky are in camp. This afternoon we're going to try to get uh, RJ out. I think what we're going to do is I want to lay out in the pasture with the ghillie suits on and see if we can get a turkey to come up within about 10 yards of us. We're getting ready to get as close as we possibly can to a turkey and shoot it. How are we going to do that? We're going to lay on the ground. <laughs> uh. 
as we're sitting there, it just keeps getting hotter and hotter, it feels, and it feels like it's never gonna go down, but Hoppy right there, he says, believe me, it's all gonna be worth it, and that just, right there, you just knew it was gonna happen. We've been laying here two to two and a half hours, and lo and behold, finally, two break off, and they're coming right to the decoy. Oh, thank you. Man, that was one hell of a hunt. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Three, two, one. Just like any hunt, you can make every hunt a total adventure. Right. And that's what Hoppy and RJ did. And I, and I commend him, man. And RJ had so much fun on that hunt. Oh, oh my gosh. He it was really so did. cool. It was. The following afternoon, Vicki and Hop head out with the crew. After several failed attempts, they spot a large tom in the field and decide to make a stalk. Hoppy crawls out about 10 yards out in front of us and starts doing the tail feather. Well, all of a sudden, this gobbler decides he's coming in. <laughs> oh, there's your wadding. <laughs> That's how close he was. Oh my gosh, well, he's getting. I'm like, shoot him because he's fixing to get off. He, he about he about coming got flocked on you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that right there. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. That was cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That was funny. He's coming to get you. Nice. Call. Beautiful. Nice. Look at that. Spurs has he got? He's oh, got some good yeah, spurs good. on him. Look at that. Nice big old beard. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't down there when you shot yours. Nope. Because I had nope. to stay back with RJ because he was no, using driver's end. No, you flew down. Well, because he had driver's I drove. End. We, Chad and I drove like days. 20, Anyways, one hour. Look at this way. Soon he'll have a license. Oh my gosh, he's going to be 16 soon enough. And he could drive us to Florida. Unless he takes after his mother and goes, well, I can't, I can't drive. I've got to oh. fly. Who drives more than you? Me. Nobody. Me. Nobody. Hey, thanks for making this week your choice right here on The Choice. Um, no, you're wrong. Oh, you are wrong. It's always Do not me. believe a word he says. Thank you, Hoppy. Thank you, all the campers down in Osceola Outfitters. I'm, I'm going to have to go and cause some trouble here because I don't have boots house. on and I'm going to need them right now. Seriously? I used to drive all the time a lot more than you ever did. Don't even be going there. Seriously. <laughs> wow.